Hello, hope you guys are all being well. It's Crypto T here, and today we're going to be looking at trading leagues. Web app, we're going to go through a couple games of target leagues. I'm going to show you how I use technical analysis to play target leagues on a higher time frame. And we have just missed the one hour game, which is a shame. But there are some, there is a there is a game that starts every minute on target leagues. There's a game that starts every two minutes on target leagues. So maybe we can go for the game that starts every minute, right? So if we look over here, we can see that the game is about to start in 40 seconds. Just say there's seven players already that pick their selection. The current price is 71,734. And now these are our selections. Do we believe the price is going to go higher or do we believe the price is going to go lower? Any one of these price points, right? So I believe we are going to go higher. So if we click on this one, we confirm. And now we have joined the game, right? So there's 17 seconds left. 11 players have joined. And if we go over to the trading view, which is a great tool that you can use at your disposal when you're playing uh, target leads, right? So if we go down to the five minute candles, we can see that we should be going back up towards this range, right? So we just wait and see how many players have joined. Total of 15 players have joined. The game has begun. Four players have picked our selection out of a total of 15. We one dollar to enter, and if we do win, we win two dollars and sixty-two which is great, right? So why we wait for that? I'm gonna show you how I find my support and my resistance when I'm doing my technical analysis. Now we zoom out, we can go back to the four hour candle. And now we can see that BTC has been extremely hot lately, right? It's been pumping and making new highs. And it's quite hard to find a resistance when the price keeps going up. But we're going to attempt to find some resistance and we're going to look for some support to find our levels when we are traded. And we can use technical analysis to help us play when we play target leagues, right? So the game has finished, it is processing, the price is above our entry, I'm pretty sure. So while we wait for that to process, if we click over here and we click a trend line, we look for levels. So we can see the price is going higher and higher and higher, right? there's points to make. So what you do is you grab your trend line and you extend it up as much as you can. So previous resistance will act as resistance going forward. So you line them up as best you can. It doesn't have to be spot on, but it just can be around about that level, right? So we can see we've had touches all above this line going up, which is great, right? So now we need to look for another another line so if we go from this corner where the price started to go up you could ideally place it like this but what we're going to do is we're going to try and find a line like this right so you're saying why why would i go there well because we've had a conflict here you can see we had conflict over here we had a touch here and now it's in this range right so ideally if the price does go down we may get a touch here, for example, right? So if I can just add one more line, if we lose these levels, then we know we have other levels to watch. So now we look for some horizontal lines going across. So the one, ideally one I would like to place is one around about here, because as you can see, we've had multiple touches on this line. If I change the color to yellow, you can see we wasn't able to break above and when we did break above when we got a candle close above here it shut up right so that is an area of support well it will act as support going forward the next area of conflict i would like to add ideally is around about here maybe a little bit higher okay because we've had touches there and we've had touches over here and we've also had a touch here, a wick down, and we managed to shoot up, right? So that could act as another area of support when, if the price does drop. And now we could easily add another line around about here. 
but that's not too important. So if we go down to the hourly candle and we zoom out a tiny bit, we can see that price is in between these levels, right? So if I zoom in and uh, make this a little bit bigger so we can see it a little bit clearer, okay. So now we can maybe add another resistance line. If we go from up here, for example, you can see we have had some touches like this, okay. I will say something like this, okay. We can use that as another area of resistance. We've had touches here, we've had touches here, we've had touches here, right? So maybe we can bring this a little bit lower like this. So you can see this line has acted as support and resistance going up. So now these are our levels that we are going to watch. So if we put some price points in, we can see that now next area of resistance is around about the 73,300 range. Breaking above there, the next strong area we need to break is around about the 75,000 mark, right? Going down, we have these levels here, and ideally we have this level here. So, worst case, if we do go down and we break these two yellow lines, then we should be heading towards this support range, right? 66,500. You have a touch here, you can see we close above and we shot back up again. So if we do drop below to these levels, yeah, this is the area of conflict, we're gonna come and we might get a wick here and we might shoot back up if we do not break above now, all right? So if I go over to trading leagues and we can see that it's processing and look, we have won the game of target leagues. Very easy to play, very simple to understand, right? So we, we entered with $1 and we've made $2.62 which is pretty good right that's a good return on a one dollar investment and it wasn't so hard to understand it wasn't so hard to play and these games start every single minute as you can see loads of players are very interested in target leagues it's a very popular game we do have other games available we have selection leagues we have classic leagues and we also have a new game coming available soon maybe if you check their socials out you can see the, they will update you very soon on those games but don't forget, Trading Leagues is available in 215 countries worldwide. So wherever you are in the world, you're always able to play Trading Leagues, right? So that's it for today. Thank you for joining. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you guys very soon. See you. Bye-bye.